Hello, I'm Richard Luck. I'm helping with the organization of the Roof of Africa this year. Uh, I'd like to talk about documentation. It will be held at the circle outside the Lesotho Avani Hotel. Uh, that's the one up on the hill, not the one in town. Um, anyway, outside that, outside the conference center, there's a circle and that's where we will be holding the documentation. Uh, it will be held on Wednesday, December the 5th from 1 to 3 o'clock in the afternoon will be bronze, from 3 to 5 will be silver, and 5 to 7 p.m. will be gold. You need to arrive with your bike, your helmet, your medical kit, your license, your passport, and then for documentation, we'll start off by doing the paperwork, which I guess is what you call documentation, and we would then do scrutineering, your tracker will be fitted, the timing transponders will be fitted and checked, um, then you will pass through the uh, sponsor area, uh, you will find Moto over there who will be willing to offer technical assistance um, and any questions you have about their products. Down the houses this year, we've got a whole new format. It's going to be held at the Masira Mall, which is the big mall uh, near the Pope's podium on the race course in Masiru. And we've made a three kilometer route there of, of dirt man-made obstacles, rock garden, tire pits, uh, pipe jump, and a big loop up on the mountain behind the mall. Uh, you'll be doing two laps of that before you leave the mall and go out to your time trial. We're appealing to the spectators to keep off the track and especially on the outside of corners and by the obstacles, let's keep this race safe. Right, I'm going to talk a little bit now about the time trial. Uh, the time trial starts at St. Anthony School. This will be your start and finish for all three days. It's about um, 60 kilometers outside of Maseru. Uh, you'll go through Roma. Um, just one, one little thing to be aware of is on all the roads, especially just outside Roma, there are some speed humps and they might catch you unaware, especially as some of them are not very well marked. So keep your eyes open for that one. Uh, the time trial is 48 kilometers in length and you can start that at any time. There's not a set time that you have to uh, take off. So when you're ready, let loose and let your neck go. Um, your first real test on the time trial um, comes at about 21 kilometers where you'll climb out of a, out of a riverbed and you'll head up towards the sandstone shelf and uh, this is when you're going to know finally that you're racing the roof of Africa. And uh, I think you're going to enjoy that little piece. It's certainly very doable. Anyway, um, enjoy this uh, time trial or as we probably should call it is racing section one. Okay, so talking about the Friday, once again, we will be starting at St. Anthony's at the school, which is the same place where you started on Thursday for the time trial. Uh, there are along the, along the route today, there'll be various splits where uh, the different classes will split off. Uh, they're well marked. Um, some of those there will be community uh, marshals there and some not. But anyway, they'll be well marked. But make sure after you've had a split that you're following your own GPS track according to your class. Um, also make sure that you load up the correct track on your GPS for the class that you're riding in. Okay, so taking off from St. Anthony, uh, there will be a split and the uh, silver and gold will head up Malafani Pass, cross the plateau and back down Hijack. Uh, hijack is pretty steep down, um, it's pretty loose stuff down there, not too rocky, uh, but you've got, to watch, you've got to watch where you're going down there, but shouldn't present any great problems for riders in those two classes. Uh, the bronze class will skirt that section and head directly to the uh, refuel at Paramente. The uh, bronze and silver will also head to Paramente. The silver will refuel there as well, but the gold will not. They cross the river, they take a right, and they head up to Dikolabeng. Dikolabeng School is where the first DSP for gold will be on Friday. From here, gold heads up the river, the Dikolabeng River, and then up the pass. And uh, this is called the Pass of the Pigs. This is the signature pass of the Roof of Africa 2018, 2018. And uh, this is where you're gonna see cameras, and I suspect will be 
TV crews up there and probably even the helicopter following up there. The uh, other two classes, the bronze and the silver, head up to Blue Mountain before heading across the plateau and joining the gold route at the very top of the uh, Pass of the Pigs. From there, they will head across and down to St. Benedict, which will be the DSP2. Um, everybody will refuel here. The gold class does a loop out of St. Benedict, coming back to St. Benedict and refuel again. From St. Benedict, uh, head up um, back towards the start finish, uh, whereas gold will head up what we call the middle pass. There's a split before the bottom of that pass and the bronze and the silver um, split off and head over the top, but not quite such a um, demanding route for, for those two classes. And anyway, all heading back down to, uh, to the start finish um, at St. Anthony, and that will be the Friday. Right, here we are on Saturday, the Sender 8th, ready to talk about the week of the day. So, everybody will start out at, uh, once again, at St. Anthony, where you started the last two mornings, and all classes are gonna head up Malafani Pass. Malafani Pass is the pass that both the gold and the silver did on Friday, which will be the day two. Um, but this is really the signature pass for, for the bronze riders. Um, Gonna have a lot of fun up there, but it's gonna be some gonna be some tough riding, and uh, I'll hopefully you enjoy that part of it. From there, you'll head to the DSP one at Saint Benedict, and uh, this is where you refueled on the day before, so you should all know uh, the ins and outs of that part of it. Out of Saint Benedict, the various classes will split off, and one of them, the the uh, certainly the the gold class will go up uh, Diko Pong. Uh, from there, uh, also the silver class will go to Hosenia Senia, which is where silver does, and bronze will head up Jockstrap, which will um, get a little bit sweaty up that part of, of the course. Um, from there, you head down to Ha Mampo, and then the route parallels the famous Baboons Pass. We call this Baboon Sister. Um, it might be called Baboon Baboon Sister because this could be a uh, pretty, pretty fun ride. Anyway, from there you go down to the DSP at Ramavanta, uh, refuel and head out. The first loop is the Pasamani loop. Uh, this is up a beautiful valley. Um, the only thing to be a little bit careful of on this path is there's some, there's some slide offs down there. There's some, there's some loose sections. Um, if you go off that route, you're not gonna hurt yourself, but you're gonna take a long while to get your bike back up on, onto the track. Uh, everybody comes back down towards Ramabanta, but then gold and silver um, do another loop. And this goes into a pretty remote part of, of the Sutu. Absolutely beautiful. I walked this part myself. Uh, some beautiful villages up there. Um, I'm sure you will have time to look at beautiful villages, but remember to watch out for the crops, watch out for the donkeys, watch out for the goats, watch out for the sheep, um, because they're all going to be up there. So anyway, back down to back down to uh, Ramabanta and refuel. And then everybody will head, head up the Nkesi Pass. Uh, this really parallels the, the tar road and everybody will head back to St. Anthony um, and the start finish. There's just a little sting in the tail for gold and then everybody will be back down St. Anthony for a little bit of champagne and you've all done a great day's work. <laughs>